I clearly remember the day, I was asked to oversee the cybersecurity awareness program, at the company I worked for. It was a gray, rainy Friday in March. As a veteran participant in awareness campaigns over the years, I had several considerations about the way it should be implemented. The whole process was mechanical, and the employees found it incredibly uninteresting. Once a year, a speaker would show up for a single afternoon, and, for hours on end, lecture on the importance of adopting cyber-safe habits. Between fiddling with their mobile phones and dozing off, each employee would sign their name to a never-ending list, that supposedly ensured the company, would be miraculously protected from cyber attacks from now on. Every so often, they also put us through a next, next, finish course, wherein the only goal was to shift from screen to screen, until you reach the end. And that was it. The next day, everyone would get back to worrying about their tasks and what to cook for dinner. I, Christine, as a security analyst on the technology team, and newly entrusted to oversee the implementation of the cybersecurity awareness program, am fully aware that this cannot be our reality. We are just a click away from losing everything. Set on changing this dynamic in the company, I called a meeting with members of the technology, information security, and human resources departments. We gathered in a room named Mission Impossible. Yes, here at the company, the meeting rooms are named after films, but funny enough, I was about to show everyone that my mission was absolutely possible. Despite my nerves, I explained that the format of the awareness program from previous years was inefficient and that it needed a radical change. To my delight, the presentation was a success and the proposed change of approach was accepted with great gusto. And of course, with great powers come great responsibilities, right? It was now up to me. months later. A few months ago, we implemented a gamified awareness program at the company, using the Hacker Rangers platform. There's been an amazing sense of euphoria since the game started. Up and down the corridors, people speculate on who will be in the top 10 of the final ranking, which medals have been won, and the ranks of each player. A sense of proactivity has taken hold of the employees. Every day, I receive tons of messages from users, reporting security risks they've come across in the corporation, or sharing a lesson they've put into practice. The first of many cyber attitudes I received, about reporting a security risk, was from Paul, from the sales department, letting me know that one of the spreadsheets with confidential customer data, was configured for public access. If this document had fallen into the hands of a cyber criminal, the company could have suffered incalculable financial and reputational damage. The efficiency shown by Paul and so many other employees in recognizing risks, has become essential to protecting the organization. I think it's now safe to say, that the cybersecurity culture has taken hold here, and that adopting safe habits, is now part of employees' daily routines. We're now at the season end ceremony, to crown the top hacker rangers. I really never thought I'd also be recognized. The CEO, Amanda, congratulated me personally on my management, and said that the implementation of a gamified information security program, was one of the best innovations in recent years here at the company. I even won a medal. That's right. With gamification, and the support of the Hacker Rangers platform, we figured out that every one of us, is a potential cybersecurity superhero. I'm already looking forward to the next season.